so mm. and so that's pretty much the thing. So when we got to that point, um, everything was about just continuing to grow the business, building relationships, talking to families, and we were super personable. So the thing is, we always went to visit the family. Didn't matter if we were like, you know, the CEOs, the owners of the company. We wanted to meet the families. We wanted to be able to meet their children. We want to be able to see what the dynamic is in the home. We want to be able to help them too. We had situations where we go into houses and we would see roach infested houses. I'm talking about no lie. I remember when Tronda screamed to the top of her lungs. That's my wife's name, by the way. <laughs> Those don't know. But screamed to the top of her lungs, walked in that house, roach ran up her leg. She was oh. like, oh. She was like, the hell is this? You were in my house, woman. <laughs> you were, what you doing over here? <laughs> yeah, we was like, dang. That's and the bold. thing is, yeah, because the problem is, like, you know, you go into certain homes and, you know, they live in certain neighborhoods to where, like, you know, they don't have the money to be able to, like, you know, take care of, like, insect treatment. We go in there and we see the, the actual client that has to be serviced. They're wheelchair bound. They have, like, a huge hole in their rear, which basically is called a wound. So when people hear about wound care and things like that. In their rear? What do you mean, like, in their ass? Right. So in their ass, they might have a really huge round opening because when you sit in a wheelchair and you're not being repositioned, there's no blood flow, there's no circulation. So what happens is your body starts like literally climpsing up and all that blood flow starts deteriorating the skin from the inside out because it's all constricted and you're losing oxygen down there. So the cells are dying, the skin is dying. So when you turn that child over, you can see that it's reddish, purplish, brownish, and there's a huge gaping hole that's literally in their anus. And so when we're watching stuff like that, we're like, this should not happen. Like this child needs to be repositioned. You have to be able to turn them every specific amount of hours because they're not able to walk. And since they can't walk, you need to have that assistance in the home to be able to help you with that. Mm -hmm. So we go in, put a medical treatment plan together, mm -hmm. make sure that we go ahead and like send that to the doctor's office so we can get those hours, let them know, look, this person has a huge wound, they need wound care. We need to be able to get it to where their skin is able to grow back and get all that stuff figured out. And then that's when, we do what we need to do to be able to make sure that that child is taken care of and that that family has a better quality of life mm -hmm. after we're able to get them approved for the services to help them with the things that just aren't being done in the home. Mm -hmm. And just as a side benefit, we were just like, look, we're going to do insect repair. We're going to do insect treatment <laughs> for you. I remember we called it uh, the, the, the Terminex, like pretty much the next day. Yeah. We were like, look, you need to come to this house. We paying for it out of pocket. I don't care. Yeah. Like there's so many things.